guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, thanks so much for joining me. Today I wanted to do kind of an inspirational video. I've been doing a lot of hair and makeup videos and some quick videos on the different types of photography that I do. It's all glamour, but I talked about the boudoir, I talked about the pinup, I talked about the fantasy, and kind of give you a little idea of what I can create. But today I wanted to talk about um, the clients and this is hopefully going to help some people who are thinking about doing a session with me or just doing a session in general when it comes to any kind of photography and having yourself be in front of the camera. Um, I get predominantly a lot of women coming to me who've never done boudoir, never done pinup, pretty much never been in front of the camera. And there's a lot of emotions that go with being photographed and having a session and also investing in that session. Um, I find clients, not everyone, and, and everyone's different, but these are some of the scenarios and situations and things that I've come up against or with and how I handle it and how I put the client's mind at ease. Um, basically, uh, for example, with the boudoir sessions, I find clients who've never been in front of the camera are extremely nervous. And who wouldn't be? You're wearing underwear and you're meeting a stranger <laughs> and having your picture taken. So there's all kinds of emotion around that. And um, I've had clients come to me who are doing it for fun. It's on their bucket list. They want to just say they did it. I've had clients come to me. They got out of divorce and it was really bad and they want to get their self-confidence back. I've had lots of cancer patients come to me who talk to me and tell me about how the disease has stripped them of all their femininity and they want that back so they want to feel sexy and vibrant and you know and see it in a photo. Um, I've also had clients come to me who have disabilities and those disabilities may have uh, started or were just part of kind of really traumatic events that happened in their life. Everything from maybe uh, car accidents to actual physical and sexual abuse. And so for them to get in front of the camera, it's, an, it's a huge challenge and it's a major uh, accomplishment. So even with just my clients from wherever you are in that scale or gamut of why you want to do a photo session, I respect everybody's privacy and their reason for coming there and I always feel very humble and grateful that they've chosen me to create those images for them. Um, that being said, um, sometimes I've had clients come in and they're so nervous they're trying to control every part of the session. So they're needling me with the hair and makeup, um, they're, they're stiff in front of the camera because they're trying so hard and one of the major things that I talk about with each client and why I like to work one-on-one -on -one versus having a whole group of people around me, I'm not into that. Um, I like to connect with you and I like to teach you to trust the process. And sometimes you have to trust what you cannot see. And that is very hard to do. And I know I've struggled in my life with things where I'm like, it's so hard to believe things can just happen. But in, my, in this scenario, um, you've seen my work, you've seen my reviews, something has drawn you towards my styles of photography. So at that point, you just need to trust the process. And the hair and makeup are only parts of the whole equation of what makes a gorgeous photo, at least for what I'm doing. For another photographer, it might be different. But for me, Hair and makeup are just details that just add that little punch to bring you out. And then what I try to do is bring your emotion out, bring you out, and natural looking eyes, lips, and if we're doing boudoir, sexy, but it's you. And as I work, I show you in the camera what you look like so you're part of the process. Um, I do tell you what to do and how to move. I've had girls who come in who were models, and so they're like this and I have to slow them down because I'm trying to capture an authentic, real feeling, movement, expression in the eye and lips. And every part is significant from how you move your hands and feet, how I position them. That's one way when you're, if you're shopping around for imagery and photography, you can tell how long someone's been photographing is how they position hands and feet and details like hair. So often I see boudoir where it's just a white room, flat hair, and that's it. And that's fine. 
some people love that. That's not my style. Uh, I definitely love glamour and I exude that through all my marketing and I want people to understand that I'm going to give them that pop, that edge they won't find anywhere else. And so um, trust is a big thing. You have to be comfortable and trust me and I do my best to put your mind at ease. But back to what I really am trying to get at here is getting in front of the camera can be an overwhelming experience for anyone. Even for myself, taking selfies. Oh, I hate that. I don't like the way I look. Da, da 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 And so you have to let go and just play. And you have to trust me that I'm going to capture those angles. I also it, like to show you what you look like so I can see how you like to be seen. We all have our own idea. But there's some general things that most women don't want. They don't want to look like a brick in front of the camera. They don't want to look square. They want to have some shape and angle. Um, it doesn't matter if you are super skinny to a plus size, you want to capture you and have look beautiful. And so I have little things I do with the camera, tips and tricks and techniques with my lenses, um, not to hide you, but to bring out the best version of you. So for me, lines and angles are huge. But once again, I'm getting into the photography talk of it. Um, it's really about being inspired to get in front of the camera and you know, trusting that you can have a gorgeous photo, that you can do this. Um, the technical stuff, all that other stuff I talked about, yeah, that's part of what I do and how I instill trust. But um, I really like to work one-on-one -on -one so that you can see, so you have an opportunity to feel this is a private experience. You can come out of your shell and we can find those natural expressions, movements, eyes, the real you to get some pictures that you're going to love and that you're going to look at years and years later and go, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did that. And I looked gorgeous and it was so worth it to do this and to have that experience. So confidence is not something you can, you know, you have to build that. You have to do little things. You have to let yourself play. Do little things that make you feel good like doing the session, buying lingerie that you love, trusting that I'm going to create those images for you, communicating, like there's so much that goes into it. But I really wanted this video to inspire you and to, um, if you're hesitating about doing a session, if you like, oh, I don't wanna look bad in my photo and spend all that money. And I understand that I have spent money and had my pictures taken and hated them and been treated really badly. And that was one of the, also the reasons that inspired me. I'm like, I know how to take a picture. I'm gonna take my own. And I pretty much only take my own photo. I don't go to photographers to take mine. Um, so I get it. And um, now I've worked so hard to kind of create this environment um, that's special. And I had a, a client say to me, why do you shoot in hotels? And I actually like taking people out of their environment. And I find the, the, the woman that will drive to that location really wants it. And it's a different atmosphere. It's exciting. It's fun. I love shooting in kind of downtown areas in really cute, trendy boutique hotels. I love that experience. It excites everyone. I'm excited. Um, and it's fun. It's fun to get out of your environment. It's very easy to get lazy. It's very easy not to do the hair and makeup. It's very easy to start getting negative. And so and that's why the session is so special. It is something that you can do to instill confidence in yourself, to take you out of your environment, out of your rut, whatever it is you're experiencing, and have fun. Just have fun. And I will encourage you to play. Emotions, facial expressions, um, definitely nothing to be embarrassed about. A lot of people get really stiff and I don't blame you. I mean, you have somebody putting a camera at you and there's all this pressure and that's why I'm there. I take that pressure off and I show you how to guide your eyes, your lips, your hands, uh, every detail. And that gives you confidence. And then you see those photos and you're like, wow, because it is you. And you did do those movements and actions and you were there and you were part of the process. So that's why I'm so big on the process and people trusting it. And when people needle me about hair and makeup, it's like this makeup and hair is not for you to go out afterwards. I mean, it, it's a bonus, but I really emphasize that it's about the session. So I do things that need to be done so that you pop in the photo and I mean, you can spend three hours on doing makeup. Um, so you have to, like, in my, you know, on my end, you have to really kind of gauge what's really important. And, like, you know, having that highlighter on the tip of your nose isn't for what I'm doing. I do add in details, but um, 
that was something I wanted to also express. So sometimes people use that as a way of getting frustrated almost and almost get deflecting um, their emotion. And I always recognize that and I put their mind at ease and I say, you've got to trust the process. You came to me, you saw my work, you saw my reviews. Now you have to trust. If you don't like it, I guarantee my work. But most importantly, you have to relax. And when you needle me, it wrecks the session and the energy, but it also, you're putting so much pressure on yourself and you have to relax. It's your first time or maybe your second time. You're not a model, you know, and um, you have to take that pressure off of what you're going to look like and how they should turn out. And really your, your inspiration for doing this should be you want some gorgeous photos that show you. And it's very hard for people to look at themselves. There's, they, they see the negative before they see the positive. Whereas when I look at people, I see the positive. I see in a plus size model, you know, the girls who come who've never had their picture, I see um, beautiful curves and lines. I see beautiful like expression and eyes. I see enthusiasm, I see personality. And that shines through. And you can see in my magazine, Dirty Glamour, um, I have a variety of people and I'm always looking and working to get more diversity into the issue. But there's stories about transformation. There's stories about, you know, everyday people I take who are already beautiful. And you're all beautiful. That's my point. And I just kind of take it to amazing by doing this digital imaging around you for the magazine. For my boudoir and pinup, I just put you in this atmosphere that lets you come alive and allows you to feel edgy and sexy and kind of, you know, you're doing something sexy and, you know, nobody knows about. Um, and it's for you. So all these experiences, all these things, all these tools are all about getting you to trust the process. And I hopefully this video has inspired some new people who may not be sure, or maybe you have had a session with me and you want to do it again. Um, you have to just relax, trust the process. You see my images, you see my work, you see the reviews. And confidence is something that you have to work at and it's building blocks, little, little tiny things like let yourself play, do a session, wear lipstick and hair, you know, have some fun, uh, make your day to day exciting, make it special, make every day special. Um, what else can I say? I mean, you know, I want you guys to enjoy the session, enjoy the images. And if you do, please continue to watch these videos and please like and if you have comments of what you'd like to see in the images in your own session you know in my magazine uh, feel free to comment below I read all the comments I answer everything I don't have a huge following um, I'm not doing this because I want thousands and thousands of people all I need is one person to like me and one person to connect and one person that this is going to make an impact on where they're going to, you know what, I really want to do a session with her because she understands me and I think she'll get it. So that's really all I'm after. And so if you want to see more of my work, like I said, join me here on this channel. Uh, please like, comment below if you have questions. Uh, I'm here to help. You can also join me on my Instagram. My Instagram is very film noir inspired and I put sayings to motivate you and just fun things. Um, sometimes it doesn't have to be heavy. Sometimes it's like you know, simple little fun things like you'll see when you go on there just to, you know, get you feeling like uh, looking at these images or putting on some lipstick or just doing something special for you. You can also join me on my Facebook. Um, you will see a lot of my Instagram posts on that. You'll see my latest uh, session dates. Um, I shoot in Seattle and Las Vegas. So I will have more of those dates coming up. You'll see when I'm launching my magazine. And if you want to see everything and stay in touch, the best thing to do is join my newsletter and my blog. Um, if you go on my website, join the RLC, which is the Red Lips Conspiracy, because my master plan is to have you all feeling gorgeous and sparkling inside and out. So I have blog posts, I have the YouTube videos, and I have the newsletter. The newsletter I'm hoping to you know, put links to everything so you can see it all at once and just click on what you, you want and get that little inspiration or maybe just find out what's happening. So that's under the Red Lip Conspiracy. You can find it on my website, yourjewel.com. And I think that's it. Um, I hope that, you know, this has put some ideas in your head and got you inspired. And I hope 2019 is amazing for you. Okay.